Welcome back, kids. Yesterday, today, and forever. Let's learn about God. It's so good to be here with you all in the middle of the month October, which happens to be one of my favorite months of the year because not only is it gorgeous outside all the time, but it seems like it's a month of thanksgiving and a month of gratitude for the loved ones in our life and also with our Heavenly Father. And that's what's so important about today's episode. Today, we're going to challenge you to think about someone in your life that you're thankful for and plan a way to thank them this week. And we're going to talk about why it's so important to use the words thank you in our everyday life. And I actually have the perfect story to share with the crew and all of you about why we should always have Thanksgiving in our hearts. Let me get my Bible. Oh, wait a second. I gave you my Bible, right? Or did I give it to Johnny? Wait, uh, wait a second. Wait, no, no, no. I know who to call. Hands! There he is, and there's my Bible! Thank you, Hands! Oh, and he marked it for me too! You're the best. <laughs> awesome. So kids, I'm going to be reading from Luke chapter 17, verse 11 to 19. If you have your Bibles, open up with me. And I'm going to read it, and I'm going to ask the crew a set of questions after to see how well they've been paying attention. And you can answer the questions as well. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Now it says, as Jesus continued on towards Jerusalem, he reached the border between Galilee and Samaria. As he entered a village there, 10 men with leprosy stood at a distance and they were crying out, Jesus, master, have mercy on us. And he looked at them and said, go show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were cleansed of their leprosy. One of them, when he saw that he was healed, came back to Jesus shouting, praise God. He fell to the ground at Jesus' feet, thanking him for what he had done. Now this man was a Samaritan. Jesus asked, didn't I heal 10 men? Where are the other nine? Has no one returned to give glory to God except this foreigner? And Jesus said to the man, stand up and go, your faith has healed you. Now that we've heard the story, I'm going to ask the crew a couple questions. So, Aaron, Ooh. let me ask you, what did Jesus tell the ten lepers to do? Mm-hmm. If he doesn't know it, I know it. Yeah, I, know, I, know, I know it, I know it, I know it. I know it, I know, I know, I know, I know the I know answer. <laughs> Come on, Aaron. Aha! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I got it! It's actually, you just told them to go to the priest. Exactly! Good job, Aaron! <laughs> well, Arnie, how about you answer this one? And what happened when the men went on their way to the priest? They were cleansed from their leprosy. Exactly! The miracle occurred on their way. And Aaron, why did the one man come back to Jesus? Eureka! It's because he wanted to say thank you to him. Yes, exactly! Good job, Aaron! And Arnie, let me ask you now. Like this man, is there someone special in your life that you can think of that you're thankful for? My parents. Exactly! I was thinking of my parents too. What about you, Aaron? I was thinking of my pastor. Yes, I am also very thankful for my pastor. And Arnie, when we talk about your parents, how can you show your mom or your dad that you're thankful for them? Uh, I think just appreciating them for the little things, you know? Mm-hmm. Because everyone needs words of affirmation and so much more. Yeah, just simply saying, Mom, Dad, you do this and this in my life, and that's why I can do this. And showing them that they have an impact in your life through your words. Yeah. I love that. Um, Aaron, going back to the story, what did Jesus do for the ten lepers? He healed them. He healed them, exactly. And given that miracle, Arnie, why do you think only one man came back to say thank you to Jesus? Because he was the one who realized how grateful he should be towards God. God did it for him. 
right? Mm. And the others didn't realize that. They were so caught up in the blessing and they were like, I don't need to tell Jesus thank you. Yeah. I have it all. It's fine. He won't even care if I go to him. But this man knew he needed to thank Jesus. He needs to praise the Lord. Exactly. Wow, Arnie, that was a perfect answer. And going off of what Arnie said, Aaron, why do you think it's so important to have that thankful heart and not get so caught up in the blessing that you forget to say thank you? Well, you know, when God's giving you a blessing, you know, you have to say, you have to be thankful and that shows appreciation to what God has done for you and to just give him praise. It's another way of giving glory to God. Exactly. Wow. Both of you are hitting all these important, important key concepts of why having a thankful heart every day towards God is so important. This reminds me of one of my favorite songs. And this reminds me of one of my favorite segments on Kids Corner. Do you know where I'm going with this, guys? Worship! Wish it. Yes! Are you ready? Yeah, I'm going to call Johnny, okay? Don't yes. worry about it. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Three, two, one. Hi, Johnny. Whoa! Whoa. Hey, are you okay, Johnny? Ah. Aaron, what did you do with Johnny? I don't know. Well, I mean, I have this. Uh, is this knife in the guitar? Ah, ah. You know what, Aaron? It's okay. Just offer a mighty sound of praise to Jesus, and when you worship in spirit and truth, everything is going to be beautiful. I'll do it, Jesus. I'll do it, Jesus. This is my sacrifice praise to you. Right, kids? How about we do that? Let's make a great, beautiful sacrifice of praise to Jesus as we worship Him and we say, thank you, Lord, for all that you've done. We're going to sing this song filled with hearts of thanksgiving. Are you ready to do that, kids? Let's do it. We say thank you all the time, often out of habit, but the real question is, do you really mean it? God wants us to be intentional about our gratitude, thanking Him and others for all the blessings that we receive. How many of you head straight for the bathroom to brush your teeth after a big meal? How many of you brush your teeth in the morning or right before bed? How many of you have to be reminded by your mom or dad to brush your teeth? Well kids, I hope you answered yes to all those questions because if you want to be wise and you want to stay healthy, we all develop a good habit of brushing our teeth. It should be automatic. We eat, we brush. We head to bed, we brush. It's good hygiene and it doesn't really take a lot of thought, does it? Unlike brushing, being thankful should never be an absent-minded habit. Just like a habit we shouldn't be forgetting. Be thankful should be always be intentional. We need to say thank you to the little things and the big things. God wants us to count our blessings and to express our thanks to Him and to others. 
Being grateful is an important part of following Jesus. It lifts us up when we're down and it helps us be mindful of all the blessings that God has done for us. This week, seek out a few people who have been extra kind to you and let them know that you appreciate them for everything they've done. So kids, give thanks to all the people who bless you and give thanks to God who sends all good things from above. Oh my goodness, did you guys hear that? My stomach growled so loud. <laughs> hmm, now that I just wrapped up this part, maybe I can go to the Cravings Cafe for something. Maybe Aaron is free, let me call him. I said move it over there! Oh, oh uh, hello? Hi! What are you doing? Uh, nothing, I, I'm, I'm good, what about you? Are you making a mess in the studio again? Uh, no, no, I'm not, I'm not. I'm gonna tell post-production on you if you're not being honest. Nothing, nothing. Um, I heard you're hungry. I can hear your stomach from here. <laughs> I am hungry. Are you sure everything's okay? Should yeah. to the studio no, instead? No, no, no. I'm hungry too. How about we just go to the cafe together? That's exactly what I was thinking. Okay, I'll meet you downstairs in like five minutes. I'll meet you too. Okay, bye. Okay, bye! Oh my gosh, what is he up to? Oh my gosh, Aaron, did I ever show you this article? One sec. Wait, wait a second. Where's your coffee? Um, I told you. I forgot my wallet. What? You forgot your wallet? Yeah. Hey. You know what? You can have my full cup of coffee right here. I'm actually so full from all the scones I had. Here what? Yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. All right. He didn't even say thank you. Um, Aaron. Hi. Can I ask you a question? What's up? When was the last time you blessed someone when they sneezed? Oh, that's a good question, actually. Hmm. Okay. Let me help you out there. I don't mean saying God bless you when you hear them like blow or go achoo. I mean, when was the last time you said God bless you and meant it? <sighs> um, I don't know. Yeah, my guess is most of us here, you, me, even in this cafe, kids, adults, everyone never really thought about it that way, huh? You see, saying God bless you is sort of like a habit now. We're taught that when someone sneezes, we just automatically just gotta say God bless you. We're taught to say those words, but we're not necessarily taught why. Well, yeah, I guess, you know, the more that you're talking about this, I guess I never realized the value in saying it. Exactly. You see, from a young age, we learn a lot of habits like this. For example, we wash our hands right after we get out of the bathroom. We brush our teeth at bedtime. We buckle our seatbelts when we get into the car. We tuck our nose into our elbows when we sneeze. Those are all great habits, don't get me wrong, but they're habits that just keep us healthy and safe. But we also learn habits that help us to be polite and kind. We learn to say God bless you when someone sneezes. We also learn to say may I and please when we ask of things. We are taught to say thank you when someone gives us something or does something nice to us. Well, you know, this is all good and all, but what does it have to do with me saying thank you for coffee? I thought you might ask that. Well, Aaron, saying thank you is a very important habit and you just stole the coffee from me and threw your cup away and didn't even say thank you. And that's what I wanna teach you right now. That saying thank you is a good practice, but if thank you just becomes an automatic habit, like saying God bless you when someone sneezes, then we're really truly missing out on the depths of those words. Being thankful, a simple thank you is an important part of being a Christian. And Aaron, God wants us to show gratitude to the people who do things for us, whether they're big or small, like me giving coffee to you, or like last week when I misplaced all of my notes and you helped me search for it for three hours until I found everything. And because I understood the gesture and the time that you had given in that moment and sacrificed all that you had to do just to help me, I have to make sure that I show my gratitude for that. Saying thank you is something that should be in our everyday, truly understanding every moment moment and everything that somebody does for us, someone does to us, and most importantly, what God provides for us from heaven. You know what? You're right. And I want to apologize for not saying thank you for all the things I've done, all the things that you have done as well. And I just want to say thank you for this wonderful cup of coffee. You're welcome, Aaron. Kids, let's look back to Luke chapter 17, verse 11 to 19. You see, back in the day, leprosy was a contagious disease. And if anyone came too close to someone who had leprosy, they were literally required to chase them away. So what Jesus did in their life was a massive miracle. He gave their life back. And that's something that no one else could do except Jesus. The one leper who said thank you shows us how important it is to stop what we're doing and show real gratitude to the people who bless us every day. 
We say thank you for a lot of things. We thank people for holding doors for us. We thank them for loaning us pencils. And we realize in these moments it's important to say thank you, even in these small instances, to let people know that we appreciate their little kindnesses. But it's equally as important to thank the people who bless us in big ways. So how will we challenge ourselves to do that, kids, to stop what we're doing and to just say thank you? When was the last time you thanked God for life? For flowers, for puppies, or for Jesus? When was the last time you sat down and counted all the blessings, big and small, that Jesus has given to you? Spoiler alert, there's a lot. God wants us to have grateful hearts. He wants us to show our thanks to Him and everyone who blesses us. When we're thankful, we let other people know that we appreciate them. We also show other people the love of God that exists inside of us and the recognition that we have to give glory to Him in all things. We also remind ourselves over and over again how truly blessed that we are. And a grateful heart can't be a sad heart for long because a grateful heart is always aware how much our God and our loved ones care for us. Why, well, thank you, Angeline. Today I learned that saying thank you is a great habit, but it should never be a mindless habit. God wants us to be mindful of our blessings. He wants us to take our time to thank Him and for others for what they do to us. Be intentional when you say thank you, and go out of your way to thank the people who go out of their way to do these favors for you. They don't have to do it, but they chose to do it. So for that, thank you. Thank you for watching, kids. Thank you, Jesus, for being my one and only true love. Thank you here. Thank you there. Thank you everywhere. You get a thank you. You get a thank you. you Don't just say thank you because you have to. Say thank you because you mean it. You see, one of my favorite verses reiterates what Arnie and Aaron were just saying. Give thanks no matter what happens. God wants you to thank Him because you believe in Christ Jesus. And you can find that in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. That being said, no matter what happens in your life, whether good or those moments of hardships, always remember that God comes through and that's because of his son Jesus Christ. So whenever you remember the name Jesus, remember that you've got a heart of thanksgiving. I have a small idea that I want to do and I need the crew's help for this. Let's call them in. So kids, the crew and I have a small activity planned. Now, the first First Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 18, what I want you to do is on a piece of paper like this, write every word on one piece of paper. So for example, the word give, you write on one piece of paper. Thanks, you write on the other. And then we're going to scramble it. And together, we're going to try to rearrange these cards until we can write the verse out fully. You could do this out loud, you could do this at home, or you could do this with us right now. Are you ready, crew? Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, what's the first word? Give. 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 Let's try to find it. Hmm. No. Oh, you found it, Erin. Okay. Yes. Give. Um, um, thanks. 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 Let's find the word thanks. Um, hmm. hmm. I think I found it. Oh, oh I found that's it. The one. I found that's it. the okay. one. So give thanks. Uh, no. No. No matter. matter. So we have to find the word matter. Hmm. Uh, matter. Oh. Ah, there it is. Okay. Oh. Give yeah, thanks no matter what. Yeah. What? Because. Hmm, no, because comes after. So give thanks no matter what. Happens. Uh, happens, yes. Can we find the word happens, 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 oh, happens, happens. Right there, right there. Okay, give thanks to, how are you doing kids? Okay, give thanks no matter what happens because God. So we, the word, oh, you found the word God. God yeah. So we need the word because. Ah, good job, Aaron. Because God um, wants you, nice, wants you to, to um, thank. Um, wants you to thank him. Yeah, you're right, Arnie. Thank him because you believe in Christ Jesus. Mm. Okay, so Arnie found the word Jesus. Thank. Hmm. Him, 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 him. Thank. Huh. Okay. Yay, we did it, guys! Yes! Oh, okay, Aaron, how about you read out the words? I got it. Give thanks no matter what happens. God wants you to thank him because you believe in Christ Jesus. Yay! Yay! We did it, crew. Yeah. Good job. And I hope you did it too, kids. Well, we're at the end of our episode, and how about we close our eyes and we pray together? Yeah. So I'm going to say this prayer, and crew, I want you to say it after me. Okay. Can we do that? Yep. Kids, can you join us? 
Dear Lord Jesus, Dear Lord Jesus, I just want to say thank you. I just want to say thank you. Just thank you. Just thank you. Thank you for being my king. Thank you for being my king. Thank you for all the good. Thank you for all the good. All the blessings. All the blessings. All the miracles. All the miracles. And even the hardships. And even the hardships. Because in them, because in them, I see more of you. I see more of you. More of your help. More of your help. More of your care. More of your care. More of your rescue. More of your rescue. And more of your love. And more of your love. So thank you. So thank you. Thank you for everyone. Thank you for everyone. In my life. In my life. Who blesses me. Who blesses me. Teach me. Teach me. To stop everything. To stop everything. And say thank you. And say thank you. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. And in Jesus' name I pray. And in Jesus' name I pray. And everyone says. Amen. Amen. So kids, thank you for watching our episodes, and thank you for liking this video, and. Thank you for commenting below and thank you for subscribing to our channel. Thank you that you're already going to join us next Wednesday at 7 p.m. Because of you and your support and your care to watch these episodes and share it with people who don't know Jesus, you participate in the kingdom's call. And for that, I want to say thank you. So kids, until we see each other next week, God bless you and have an amazing night. Bye! Bye.